Strategy, the pre match planning here comes into effect. And here we go one on one for the opening session. The opening three minutes of this match is Kazarian just overpowered Abyss. You don't normally see that. No, you don't. You definitely don't see that much. But Kazarian, he is definitely fired up. Oh, he just got ghouls with all. Kazarian yep. in grave danger. Oh, oh, the counter. No chance at the choke slam, but Kazarian. Gets caught with the big boot and 350 pounds behind it from Abyss. Yeah, good quickness by Abyss. He's deceivingly fast, the monster Abyss. Maybe quick is a better word. Wow. What a pound, pounding down on Look at that. Power behind those punches Mess in the up corner. His pretty face. Mess up his pretty little face. The pretty little face. The pretty face, guys. I think uh, Bully Ray thinks that Kazarian has a pretty face. Oh. 
Kazarian, that's just that he just can't get rolling out of the box. Again, giving all all that size. Mangle him, mangle him, come on. Come on, Very vocal group on, representing Immortal around the ringside area, to say the least, between Matt Hardy and Bully Ray. Well, again, we, we you know, I chatted a quick second about how important the first two men are going to compete against each other. You know, that I, I, we understand, obviously, that the man advantage is going to go to, because they earned it, to Immortal. But still, Kazarian's got to really have a strong showing here to get momentum going. Quickness of Kazarian as he's able to avoid Abyss into the corner. Goes to the top, wow! Well, uh, just about a minute here. Under a minute in our opening <laughs> session. <laughs> We're gonna have a... And in 60 seconds, it's advantage immortal. Yeah, Two minutes where they'll have... It's almost like a power play in hockey where you have the man edge. Yep, that's exactly what it's like. Yeah, ooh, wow, that was impactful. And that's the key, I think, if you're Kazarian, you gotta really beat down Abyss and keep him down. Whoever this next member of Immortal coming a, into this cage is. You know what I mean? great point. If you weaken Abyss to the point where he's not going to be able to compete for that next two right. minutes, you right. change the numbers game. You take away the advantage exactly. that Immortal has. And instead of being two on one, then it's one on one with Kazarian right. against whoever Immortal sends in. You know what it is, Mike? I mean, the team of Fortune, the Fortune team, they don't have a big heater. They don't have a big monster guy like a Bully Ray on their team or Abyss. Here we go, five seconds. Who's it going to be? Which member of Immortal? Well, that's who, that's Matt Hardy, and that's who won the, uh oh It's cold-blooded Matt Hardy. Was that a side effect he was going to go for yes, there? Sir, yes, tried. sir, yes, sir. And because Kazarian ah, well, yeah, wore down Abyss, it's like a singles match yeah, now. The, the man advantage has been negated. Yes, well said. Well said, and this great cardiovascular conditioning by... Oh! Kazarian, he is on point right now. And it's, uh, well, it's probably about, about a minute and a half until the next member comes in, which would be uh, Fortune, actually. Not a mortal. Looked like Kazarian may be going for that fade to black style Reverse pile driver. Instead, Matt Hardy avoids that, but oh, wow. Yeah. No avoiding that big overhand right from the monster. I think the numbers get hit. Ice, ice pick. That ice pick, that submission hold. For the way that he has his legs wrapped around the body, and at the same time, that double underhook. That is some submission move, and now when you've got Abyss stomping on someone who can't fight back and is totally defenseless, you see now yeah. how important that man edge is. I mean, just a couple of days ago on Impact, we saw that ice pick applied to Kazarian by Hardy, and Hardy, Matt Hardy got the win. Of course, at this point of the lethal lockdown match, it's not about Kazarian tapping out no, to it's... that ice pick because Pinfall, submission, not decided until all eight competitors are in the cage. Oh, wow. wow. Side effect, and now... Boy, he caught it. Flush, nailed it perfectly that time. Did Cole Glenn and Matt Hardy. Probably around 30 seconds. I mean, Kazarian's got to try and hang on, because a member of Fortune will be coming in here soon. I think that Kazarian did a good job for the most part here. And there it is, 10 seconds. I think he did a good job because it was a two-on-one situation only for about a minute. Looks like Daniels is in the on-deck circle. And he is the man that's going to even things up at 2-2. Two -two. Look at the, the open-hand palm thrust. First for Abyss. Strikes for Hardy. Clothesline. Big elbow for Abyss. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Like a battering ram on sure. Palmer. Daniels on fire as he enters the cage, representing Fortune, and could be BME. BME. Nails it! Best moonsault ever! That's the move is awesome the way he does that moonsault. You can't even call it a moonsault. It's like insulting to call that a moonsault. It's a BME. Best moonsault ever. I knew that. What's this? Wow! <laughs> Daniels off the ropes with a knee that takes down Hardy. Shot for Abyss in the corner. 
so important at this point in the match for Kazarian also to regroup. Yeah. Well, get a bit of a breather while Daniels is taking the offense. That's the strategy that's important in teamwork because they know Kazarian oh, and Daniels, they know that they're going to have a three on two situation, which is not good for them coming up shortly. And up shortly means less than a minute away from Immortal again taking the numbers game on their side. Meanwhile, the double team moves on Abyss, one after the other from Daniels and Kazarian. And whew, back in the head. Boy, that's so tough. You have no idea when that shot is coming from behind. Just blind sides the worst, but you don't see it coming. Like being rear-ended in a car accident is the fortune team of Kazarian and Daniels have done a hell of a job here against uh, Abyss and Matt Hardy now that it's two on two. But we are under 15 seconds away from Immortal having the next man in. Nice. What is that? Daniels mission hold the point as Flair opens trying. the cage door. Here comes the nature boy right here. Well, dirtiest player in the game has arrived. And when you think about the history between Ric Flair and Fortune, and when you think about how Fortune turned their backs on Immortal, split away, broke away from Immortal without consulting Ric Flair, you see why Flair, well, you see why he's named dirtiest player in the game with the low blow on oh, yeah. Daniels. You can see it right here. I mean, Flair, really hot. At Fortune, because they went to business for themselves and turned their back on him or whatever. I mean, there's two sides to every story, obviously. But Flair, with those classic chops, is wearing out Kazarian. And Kazarian sent into the cage by Flair. Matt Hardy from the mount position, reigning in rights on Daniels. Abyss surveys the situation and, and senses that he's going to get involved. Flair just can't help himself, man. Does that that vintage strut? Mess him up! Mess him up, hard! Mess him up, hard! And then some. Daniels. Daniels, yeah. yeah. Fighting out of the corner against Hardy. And Hardy caught him right in the eyes. Flair looks on approvingly as his two partners at this point in the match, Hardy and Abyss, are in control. Again, three on two at this point. These will leave it up soon. Half a minute away yep. from going to three on three, Taz. A Fortune member. It's either going to be Storm or Rude. See right there, Storm loading up on beers. Just going to take a little swig. And that just, I'm mean, right now, you can just see a mortal just wearing out Daniels and Kazarian. Storm headed to the cage door. Looks like he's gonna be next man in for Fortune. <laughs> Just put his beer on the apron. Well, <laughs> beer oh. in the eyes, beer in the face of the monster abyss. Hardy, contact with his oh. own partner. Hardy gets stabbed in the back by Storm. And James Storm gonna come face to face with the former leader of Fortune, Ric Flair. Flair asking for help, telling Abyss and Matt Hardy, get him! Oh, jeez, God! Whoa! Storm just broke the beer bottle right over the head of Ric Flair! Oh, and now he's using the jagged edge of the glass as the oh, blood is coming out of Flair's head! Oh, wait a minute, I don't think he needs to... Flair, it's the blood's pouring out of his head. Those trousers have probably cost about eight, nine hundred dollars. Those aren't doctors, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Action picking up here with Fortune. He f***s up with Storm. And Storm just, just destroying Flair. Flair is just... What is porn at? Did you hear that? Storm biting the, the open wound, the cut in the head of, of Flair. Kazarian airborne on Abyss and Hardy in the corner. Look at how physical this is, Mike. We're not even at the true... A, a lethal lockdown match. The, cage, the, the roof has not lowered down with the weapons yet because Bully Ray's still on the outside and so is Robert Roode. Oh. oh my god, 
they're looking for that. Oh my God, this guy's a Hall of Famer. His pants are ripped up, falling down. His jaws are hanging out. He's bleeding. His ass is out. He's getting spanked. What the hell is going on here? That's lockdown. Is it? <laughs> wow. What offense by Storm on Flair for the entire two minute period. And now the bully is taking over. Bully Ray, 4 3 edge for Immortal. And Bully Ray is just pure physicality against all the members of Fortune. Well, like I said, man, you know, this team, Immortal's team, have two big heaters. And Bully Ray, he's the heavy man. He's the, he's the clean up hitter. He's a heavy hitter, and he just. Lit up. Who was that? Was that Kazarian? I couldn't even tell. Yeah, it was. Kazarian, meanwhile, Hardy dropping the leg on Daniels. Flair trying to regroup, pull up his pants in the corner. Thank God. Well, Kazarian, oh, Kazarian was trying to fight back against Bully Ray. You got to really, I mean, Kazarian's been out here from the beginning. Along with Abyss. Now the chance for Flair to get a little revenge on the man who opened him up with the beer bottle, James Storm. Boy, Robert Roode is sitting on ready, isn't he? Robert Roode, he can't wait to get in this thing and then it officially is on. And the sides would be even. But he's got 45 seconds more of watching. Well, Abyss, Flair, Hardy, and Bully Ray, they can do a lot of damage in 45 seconds. Watch this. Oh my God. Kazarian, who has been in this match, in the cage from the outset, gets his throat snapped against the steel cable of the ring ropes. 20 seconds away from Rude, evening things up at 4-4. And keep in mind, once all eight men are entered into the cage, the top loaded, filled with the weapons, lowers into place, and Lethal Lockdown is officially underway. Here comes Rude. He's ready. He's stupid. And the fresh man, Rude, showing the offense here against Immortal. Monster turns it around on Rude, shoots him to the corner, but Rude gets the boot up. You heard right there. Oh! Robert the Rude, scream out fortune. Show respect for his team, but right now his team is just done. They're out, down. Former members, we said, of Fortune, Rick Flagg going, getting right on Robert Rude. Look at this, look at these chops. Give him a little bit of taste of his own medicine, is Rude on Flair. Back body drop by Rude on Flair. Oh, look at the Willis. Be a money right now. Going for a double. Double suplex on Bully Ray. Wow. And here we go. Cage top. Loaded with weapons. Slowly lowers into place. And now officially lethal lockdown. This point forward. It's about pin, submission, which side, which team is going to emerge victorious. Going to be Fortune, going to be Immortal. Here come the weapons. What do we got up there? We got a big heavy gauge chain, a couple of trash cans, kendo sticks. And you name it, it's a potpourri of weapons up there. If lethal lockdown hasn't been physical enough for you to this point. Looks like Daniels trying to grab his, it looks like an axe handle. I think that's what he got. Yeah, was just, well, just watch no, it wasn't Daniels. what you're about to see now. Oh my God. All hell is about to break loose. Fortune, Fortune's got the weapons. A good, a good amount of them, I should say. Split screen coverage showing you the eight men in the battle. And at this point, oh, if you look around, it, it's Fortune with the weapon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they grabbed those weapons as they were kind of on top as the, 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 the roof was lowering oh, down. Oh, my God. Abyss gets knocked directly through the cage and out to the arena floor thanks to the double team from Fortune. And look at Fortune. Oh, my God. Kendo sticks things like hell now. 
looks like Daniels got some bad intentions on his mind for Abyss. Well, I guess you can hear that trash can lead shot, and there you see it. Number two, lead to the head of Abyss. Daniels circling around the cage, trying to get at Matt Hardy. The cold-blooded one goes up the side of the cage, but Storm, in his hands, Kazarian. He's trying, he's trying to poke at him with that kendo stick. And Matt Hardy, trying to get to the top, and oh boy. And Daniels in pursuit. Matt Hardy up on top of the steel cage. Here comes Daniels to follow up. Yeah, look at Hardy. He's just realized, what the hell am I doing? Oh, here? my God. The danger level now, Taz. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh, it's too. Hardy's never been a part of any of these things here, but Daniels, he looks right at home. Oh, so dangerous with Hardy trying to go back, having second thoughts about being on top of the cage, trying to get down and scale the side. Daniels not going to allow it. Wow, what a visual this is. Oh, my God. Gonna go Angel's wings here. Had him double underhook, but Hardy. Oh, he's fighting fight out. Off. Yeah, he's fighting out of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that hook. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. God. God, Daniels hanging on for dear life off the back body drop. Oh, watch out for that door. This is dangerous, Ooh. Mike. This is this whole deal here. It's nuts. Oh! He's got to twist the hate That's up on exactly side of the cage. Yeah. Right on those steel pipes and that heavy gauge fence. I think Daniels, he's out, he's done. Battle continues inside the cage. Oh, they're just God beating up the life out of Ric Flair. Flair just completely looks, covered in blood. Looks like he got shot with a freaking bazooka. Oh, oh God. Saw Matt Hardy come down the side of the cage. Bully Ray. Big power move. Bully Ray on top for the pin. Oh, two. Yes, we're at that point in the match. Oh, sure are, where the pin or the submission is going to be the decider. Storm catches Bully Ray. Oh, God. Drives him down. This could do it. Bully Storm done, done, two. Oh, smart. Smart by the legend himself, right across the side of the quad. With that Kendo stick, but look at Rude! Double R spine buster by Rude on a dazed, worn out flare. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 Daniels, Daniels is, is, Daniels is on, back Mike, up to Mike, his feet. Mike. No, no, no! Take another look at this. You talk about I'm putting your body on the line. It's torsion to the wind. This is off the top of this massive structure. A crossbody on Hardy and Abyss by Daniels. Amazing. Meanwhile, Rude gonna go figure four on Flair. Can he beat Flair with his own submission hole? Oh my God, look at this guy locked in. Locked in great. Locked into the middle of the ring. Can Flair fight through? Oh, the ball, he's the bully. Get the, he's gonna get an assist from Bully Ray with that Gosh. trash can shot. Oh, Flair screams out in pain. Oh, Bully Ray laying out members of Fortune. Oh, God, Daniels yeah, that, amazingly that, back I, inside I, I even, the cage. I don't know how Daniels even walk after what he did. Just to be met with a steel. Trash can lid, and now Ooh. Bully Ray with a kendo stick. That's not a good oh. mix for Fortune. The viciousness, the violence level of Bully Ray Norris. being taken up several notches here. He's channeling Chuck Norris. Again. Go. Oh, my God. Oh. Can he just, can he? Light anyone up any more than that? Daniel stuck too right open. Us. Flair asking to have a, a kendo stick. Billy Ray's having too much fun with both of them. Now he handed one off to Rick. Oh, God, no. Get fired, get fired. Thanks. Thanks. Ah. 
This is, we knew there was going to be violence, Mike, and it was going to be vicious. This is just, oh my God. In terms of physicality and brutality. It's like kendo stick is bamboo, man. Thin slices of bamboo, it cuts your skin, it stings like that. How does that feel, huh? Without a question, one of the most violent, lethal lockdown matches in TNA history. I heard him. It's for your good friend AJ. Nope. It's like Bubba just saw a saw a ghost. It's AJ Styles. What the hell? AJ Styles. Yeah, get that revenge against Bully Ray, against the man who injured you, who put you through that table. Whoa! Whoa. Bouncing him off the side of the steel. Can't get out of his own way. AJ is on fire. Vengeance is yours, AJ Styles. Oh, 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 oh God. Look at Rick. Look at Rick. Uh oh. God, Rick just got lit up here. Beer money just doubling up on Flair now. That Fujiwara arm ball. Think it's just Tyrone trying to pop the arm, pop the elbow. Looks like he's tapping. Rick tap. He tapped. Rick taps and Fortune does it. Thanks to Robert Roode's submission of Rick Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the Lethal Lockdown match. Fortune. Well, thanks to AJ Styles coming out here. Shocking everybody and Fortune get back together. The momentum was on the side of Bully Ray and the other members of Immortal, but the shocking arrival of AJ turned the momentum for Fortune's side. What a win for Fortune. And what a bad night it's been for this immortal crew. The return of AJ Styles cements the victory. Oh. Robert Roode, the submission win over Ric Flair. And Fortune stands tall. Taz, let's go back and let's review Lethal Lockdown. Yeah, this might take a while. There's a lot to cover here. I mean, there was this, this immortal was on the scene as cocky as they want to be. They look good going, man. And, uh, and then here came Fortune, and this thing just like, I, I we knew it was going to be physical, but throughout the whole thing, you know, the advantage was, the man advantage was earned, reaching on impact by Fortune, and they exploited it. They took advantage of it. But then once things got evened up a bit, gotta say, bro, Fortune, they look pretty good. And once it was all four on four, roof came down. Weapons illegal. Weapons come into play, and we saw that Fortune immediately gained control of the match. They took oh. the weapons. Daniels with the trash can. Oh, the danger of this match unparalleled. Daniels hanging on for dear Whoa. life, and then how about that? That awe-inspiring high cross body with the tippy top of this freaking structure. And then Bully Ray wearing everybody out in their mothers with that Singapore cane. And then shocking arrival of the phenomenal AJ Styles. And he owed a Major League beat down, a Major League ass whooping to Bully Ray, and Bully got it. But then this Taz with the, was the game changer. This is what decided it. Robert Roode plants on the submission, and Flair taps Fortune wins. Whoever would have thought the winner of this match would get it via submission. Fortune did it. And there they stand for all five of them. What a great way to conclude a spectacular event. Can you imagine how Immortal's going to react to a night when not only Sting remains champ, but AJ Styles returns to lead Fortune? Good night from Cincinnati.